Hey y'all, I'm coming to you from the kitchen. Let's try this again. Today, we're gonna be playing with balls. Mine, of course. <laughs> okay, so today I'm gonna teach you how to make football wands for your cup turners. My last one got interrupted and it got booted and oh my goodness. So, we're gonna try this again. I'm going to show you how to make a 20 ounce wand and a 30 ounce wand for your cup turners um, if you are spinning cups. The things you are going to need is you're going to need Dollar Tree footballs. The first one looks like this with a little fan on the back. And the other one is just the regular bigger size football. You'll notice the difference in the sizes. And it doesn't have a little thing in the back. And you want to try and feel them. Like, you definitely want to feel your balls, okay? You want to feel them. And the firmer the ball, the more you want it. So, you want some firm set of balls. <laughs> okay? So, the firmer the ball, the better. And the little ones, it doesn't matter because they're all pretty much the same consistency. You're going to want to get, so whatever your, whatever your cup turner is, whatever size your wand that your female is, obviously that's the size your male is. So you're going to want to get whatever my size male is. I do, um, I saw a comment just come up and a couple people asked me, well, why do you show people how to make cup turners and why do you show people how to make the wands if you sell your cup turners and you sell your wands? I do sell my cup turners and I do sell sets of wands. So if you want to buy them from me, you can message me on my Facebook or my Instagram, which are both. Um, my Facebook, you can message me personally. Or you can find me in our group, Show Me Show Van. Or you can find me on Instagram under Show Me Show Van. Um, please go like the pages. Um, and our group, if you answer the three questions, you can come on in and... Enjoy an amazing group of camaraderie. It's incredible. Um, but I also like to show people how to make it themselves because some people like to I am woman, hear me roar kind of thing. And so I don't mind showing people what I know how to do. So some people like to do it themselves. Some people would rather buy it themselves. So it's whatever your cup of tea is or your cup of whiskey, whatever. So I'm going to show you how to make it. But if you do want to buy... A cup turner or a set of wands for me I do sell them so just you know where to find me all right <clears throat> the wand that you have that fits so this is essentially what you're making so that when you spin your cup I'm just gonna try and give you an idea so that when you're spinning your cup like this and I, of course I just put stuff back in it your cup is going to fit on to the wand, okay? And there's another piece of pipe in there. That's why it's not fitting on the way. So if I, and it should fit pretty snugly, okay? And then you'll be able to take this off and then put another cup on and be able to spin it while this cup is on the dryer, okay? So that's essentially why you have removable wands, okay? So a lot of people are like, well, why do I need a whole bunch of wands? So that you can trade them out and make them and trade them. Not like trading cards, but make them and put them on a different spinner or whatever. So that's what I'm showing you. So my wands and my bits are half inch. My female and males are half inch. So what you're going to need to make your own wands is whatever size your bits are. So half inch females. These are females. So you're going to need half inch females. You're going to need a hot glue gun. La 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 la. Okay. You're going to need Dollar Tree footballs. The bigs and the littles. You're going to need pipe. And I don't know where the other pipe is. I would bet you my son took it to play. So, <laughs> I got one shot to make it. Um, so, um, you're going to need pipe. I get the pre-cut pipe like this. 
because I know how many comes out of it. So you're going to need the pre-cut pipe like this. And that's it. It's real simple. Oh, and you're going to need a pair of pipe cutters. And these are ratchet. Not like she ratchet. Not like that kind of ratchet. But they're ratchet. So they make it very easy to cut. Okay. So, and obviously you're going to get the size pipe as the size bit you got. So if you have half inch pipe, you're going to get half inch um, fitting. And I need to figure out where I put that other fitting. I think I took it off. I think I did. Okay. I want to make sure I don't cut my pipe as long as I just did a minute ago. Because, so I usually measure, measure. But um, it's usually about six inches. Okay. So you're going to put it about right there. It's usually about six inches. My first ones are cut a little bit too long. It's probably a little bit too big, too. If you feel like you got them too big, just open up those pipe cutters. Ooh. So about right there, okay? About six inches. All right, and you're gonna squeeze, and you're gonna see it just goes right into it. It slices it like butter. When you open it, it doesn't open the pipe cutter. It stays in there, and then it just goes right in. These things are wonderful. Okay? And they cut real easy. Some of you are like, I don't know if I can cut it. You can. These things work wonders. There's all, and it comes in a two pack. So it has another cutter with it, but the ratchets work so much better. So you just measure it up to it. And you cut. And then this one will be right right down the middle because you can cut two out of this. All right. So once you have your pipes cut, it should have four pieces. They're usually about equal. Hmm. One's a little longer. It's not that big of a deal. If you're really OCD, measure it with a measuring tape. Mark it for this Tutorial is really not that big of a deal. Alright. So, I'm going to put these right here. I have cups spinning, so I'm trying not to touch them because they're um, still wet. Alright. Let me find the thing I just showed. Alright. So, you're going to take your Dollar Tree football that you have. And you're just going to twist and take that part out. Ta-da! Okay, and then you're gonna throw this part away. So let me, oh, I'm running out of space. Uh, right. And you're gonna throw the little wind thing out, okay? Then you're gonna take your hot glue gun and you're going to actually put this to the side for a minute. You're going to take your half inch piece and the piece without the threads. So this piece right here without the threads, the smooth piece. You're going to take your glue gun and you're going to put like a whole bunch of little squeezes of hot glue. Now they also have something called pipe dope which is specifically designed to keep pipes together. Okay. I mean, it is like specifically designed for it. All right. So that's in there. Okay. You can use pipe dope. It's blue. You just ratchet around there. Okay. And be careful because sometimes the hot glue does drip. So you want to kind of keep your 
pipe that way until the hot glue kind of hardens a little bit, which mine did great. All right, then you want to take your football. And I always like to keep mine that way. Just, And you want to kind of do the same thing. Just kind of get all up in that hole with the goo. <laughs> you want to just get all up in there. Now this, I would recommend hot glue. Not pipe dope. And you're going to just stick. And you want to like, until you hear that crunch, and it'll start to kind of pull. And that's it. You have a perfectly good wine. And that will keep your football on. I mean, that will keep your cup on. Now, some people put, um, the um, hot glue around here too. You can, but you don't have to. It's six one way, half a dozen the other, but you don't have to, okay? So that's how you make the little ones. That's how you make the little one. I feel like this is not all the way. The big football, let me move these two. I don't know my football's underneath here. All right, the big football, you're gonna do the same way. You're gonna take your pipe. You're gonna go inside the female. <laughs> you're gonna go up inside the smooth part. You're gonna stick your pipe in. You're going to push. And you're going to let the hot glue kind of seep in on it. You might not be able to see it, but you see kind of like the goo. See the goo in it? Okay. Then you're going to take your football. Oh, one, one other material. You're going to need scissors. And you cut a little... Star, I mean little tip. You're going to cut just the tip. Just the tip. And you're going to cut a little bit each way. Until you kind of got like enough to, like, you're not going to cut it off. You're going to kind of pinch, pinch and, pinch and twist. Okay. You don't want to cut too deep off your football because you don't want to cut the depth off, okay? All right. Then you're going to stick your scissors and just kind of make just a little where you hear that crunch because you're going to kind of want, want it to be able to get up in there, okay? Because you're going to want to fit your hot glue gun tip in there to goo in it. <laughs> okay. You're going to stick your hot glue gun in the hole. And you're going to goo in it a lot. So you see your hot glue gun kind of going down. And some of the goo coming up. Then you're going to take your wand and you're going to shove and rotate, shove and rotate. And you just pull out a little bit. This is the dirtiest, dirtiest part of making things. You're going to pull out a little bit and that's how you make a 30 ounce football. And you want to pull out just a little bit to make sure it's got it, which it does. And that's how you make a 30 ounce wand. So it's really simple. Um, I have two. These are already gooed up. Gooed up or showed up. Um, those are already gooed, so I'm going to make those 
with you um, so that you can see again. So these already have the bit on the bottom, my female, and this one's just a little bit too long. So I'm going to cut it with my with my ratchet pipe cutter. So see if you like mess up, if you cut it too long. Better to cut it too long than to, to cut it too short. So you take your wand, you take your hot glue gun, it's getting a little bit too close to that. You go all up in your hole. Make sure you got a lot. Don't, you can never use too much hot glue. Why? Is that not going in there? You can never use too much hot glue when you're trying to get these in there. Okay. And then you take it. And as you're shoving it in, you're twisting. And you'll start to hear that little bit of crunch. Okay. And then... There you go. Ta da! It's very, very easy. Very, very easy. It's really not hard once you get the hang of it. Um, the hardest one to do are the bigs because you have to just like cut a little bit of the tip, then move over. Cut a little bit of the tip, then move over. Cut a little bit of the tip. You're so tempted to just cut the whole thing, and you really don't want to. And I know that seems so stupid because you're just pulling, but you don't want to cut too deep, and you don't want to take too much of your football away, because that's what has the um, consistency, and this also gives you a chance to go right in the middle with your scissors, to where it gives you the only option is that's where you're going to put your pipe. Um, so, and then you kind of stick your finger a little bit. Brooke, I can't wait to see you either. I've been missing you so much. Okay, and then you just stick it in and you just squeeze until you almost have no more hot glue left which I don't and then you're gonna take give it that crunch and then you just pull out a little bit make sure it's good and straight and you kind of twist it to make sure that it gets some of the hot glue and then there you go so, it's really easy. It's not very hard to make wands. Um, it's a very easy process. So, if you want to make them yourself, those are the things you need. If you want to order them from me, find me on my Facebook. Find me on my Instagram. Message me. I can send you a set. Um, so, they're not very hard. Um, if you need me or have any other questions, you can definitely post your questions here or message me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. So the 53 of you watching right now, please give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And other than that, y'all have a great day. Be good to everybody. Make sure y'all take care of each other. All right. Y'all have a great day. Be good to everybody. Bye, y'all. Yes.